What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. It is cold as shit in here. Yeah. Um, I, uh, God. Yeah, it's freezing. My dick could cut glass right now. <laughs> if you could even find it. Nice. That's fucking dope. It's actually just because it's cold. What? It wasn't a size joke. I was just saying because it's cold in here. Oh, what? It, mine gets hard when it's cold. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Is that not what? No. It's supposed to happen? No. Oh, yeah. I get no. rock hard when it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Boner town. Population <laughs> me. Just five dudes on a hockey team. Fuck, it's cold out here. I can't find my dick. <laughs> What, what do you mean, guys? Oh, wait. Oh, Jared has a boner. Dude. Oh, Tristan has one, too. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I have one, too. <laughs> welcome, dude. Well, thank you, man. Welcome back. Thank you. I thought you were saying welcome back to the people, but it's no, to no. me. No, no. Yeah, it's to you. Appreciate it. How do you feel? Appreciate it. Back in uh, the city. I'm a little bit hungover. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Just turning over with your parents? No, it wasn't because I was drinking. No, I didn't drink for seven days wow. when I was home. Wow. Okay, you said that you say that sarcastically, but that's a big deal. And not, for me. No, no, that's it not is. a big deal for me. It's just, you know, I think when you have a vice, mm -hmm. staying away from that vice for seven days straight, mm -hmm. it w is a hard thing to do. Yeah. And I did it. I felt great. And then I and I got back <laughs> last night and is, is I your, didn't even have that much. I had like one, <laughs> two glasses of rosé, and I woke up just fucking. Yeah. Well, is your relationship with alcohol like the girl from the ring? What do you mean? Like it's just calling your name. Like in sit in like places and you answer the phone. It's like you're gonna get drunk in seven days. And you're like, oh no! You turn on the TV and there's like tequila ads no. and shit. <laughs> you're gonna get drunk in seven days. I'm like what? I gotta wait seven, seven days? days? No. Oh god damn it! <laughs> what, about, what about four? <laughs> well. <laughs> Uh, so no drinking with your parents. Do your parents even drink like that? They, I mean, they have like a glass of wine with dinner, yeah, sure. like every night. Okay. But that's that's it, just mm -hmm. one, you know. Mm -hmm. And extremely responsible. Yeah, exactly. And even them, man, it's like when <laughs> what you know when you don't drink, and then your friends are like, "What the? F what do you mean you're not drinking? You're yeah. like, I'm not drinking. You're yeah. like, Come on, just drink. Yeah. Like, no, I'm not drinking. And they just treat you like, like shit, just like shit, and make yeah. you feel like shit. Like my parents do that shit too. Wow. <laughs> not really, but it's just like, wait, you're not gonna have. Why? You're not drinking? Why? No. Why not? Because I'm not. Why do I need a reason? <laughs> just not drinking. You sure? Just weird. You're always drinking. You're always drinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, your videos and stuff, you're always kind of <clears throat> sauced. Yeah. On the sauce? Off the, <laughs> the sauce. sauce. Uh, <laughs> no, but it was good. It was good. Sorry, I'm just imagining your mom getting offended. Oh, so you drink with your friends, but you want to drink with your parents. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. No, that's Sit fine. Sit down and have a glass of wine with your mother. Okay. All right. Fuck. We're old enough now. <laughs> Somebody's going to do the wet hair. <laughs> <laughs> Seven days. What'd you do up there? Kill deer? Skin yeah, alive? Yeah. Hunting, some uh, some dog sledding. A um, <laughs> little bit of curling, yeah, but not that much. Casual. More, yeah, yeah. Casual Canadian things. Yeah, it was more met up with my old curling team. So mm. we did a... You know, we had a little uh, scrimmage. Yeah. What about uh, uh, what about the the gas station bobsled boys? You you guys go out for a quick sled? On yeah, the, the GSBBs. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we. Uh, you know, I like to do skeleton when I go back. Mm. It's the head first one. Oh god, yeah, yeah a little just, bit more dangerous. Just, yeah, just you know, get back in. Bobsledding is children's shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, I used to not used to be, but. I'm just remembering this one specific Winter Olympics video where this bobsled team gets like absolutely annihilated. Like, yeah, the Jamaica. No, oh no, that's a movie. <laughs> God damn it! You really just hit me with fucking cool runnings. <laughs> Don't ever disrespect cool runnings. I love cool runnings. I didn't runnings. disrespect it. No, oh, well, I'm saying that might be what you think you're, you're thinking of. No, no, no. What I mean, annihilated. I mean, like, like a skate broke on it, mm -hmm. and like there, it's like four of them in the sled, and things just like. They're just going all over the place. They're just getting bobbleheads. Yeah, just getting crushed. I'm like, <laughs> <they're>, <laughs> just side to side, just, just, just slamming <laughs> head against, and then flipping over and then slamming the head <laughs> on the other side. I'm laughing because it's like it's fucked up. Yeah, it's, it's the dangerous. most ridiculous position to be in. I know. Like you're just trapped. <laughs> hey guys, why don't we just tie each other together and go down <laughs> some ice, dude? They used to do at Canada <laughs> Olympic Park, which is where they had the Olympics in Calgary. Yeah, it was like sort of by where I grew up, and. It used to be like an office thing. 
like like you know oh. how we do like yeah like team beach, building beach, yeah team building beach yeah. getaways or whatever they used to go bobsledding <laughs> and somebody fucking died one time oh my yeah God. no yeah i'm glad i, I can see the remorse oh your, my no it's just face. like i'm just like, like somebody died and i was like oh what it's like oh i'm just laughing because it's like you know someone was like i feel like at least one person said do you think this is a good idea and I was like, yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, fine. And then that day that happens and and they're just looking at each other like, I fucking told you. I fucking knew it. This was a bad idea, Bob. It's a pretty extreme way to die, though. It's super extreme. Yeah. Like, it's it's like those dudes in, uh, do you, <laughs> remember those guys in Russia that went in like those big plastic orbs and they just like went off the side <laughs> of the mountain? <laughs> see, see, bitch. See, bitch. Don't. <laughs> Fuck, fuck. We shouldn't laugh, but Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was tough. Say. I almost just spat that out. <laughs> I'm, oh, my God, dude. <laughs> I think I know the video. You're yeah, t- it's so horrible. And they horrible. just fall off the mountain, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, it's so like, oh, yay. And they're like rolling, and then you're. There, it's just like, goodbye. <laughs> and you're, the guy in the video is like, oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! Holy fuck! That's so morbid. <laughs> it's so morbid, dude. Jesus Christ! It's so horrible. Just helpless. Nothing they can do. Nothing. They're just, just, just rolling in a giant hamster there's ball. There's one guy who's like on skis, like just trying to get over there. <laughs> I'm like, I admire his attempt, but I'm like, bruh. Like one guy like tries to grab it, and it, that guy must feel horrible because he like reaches out to it and it just like grazes his hand, and he's like, oh. Oh man, dude! Maybe, maybe we shouldn't have did the giant people and giant balls thing. <laughs> like maybe the, this was a bad idea. Right, right on, like on the yeah, mountain, on the edge. Right. <laughs> maybe we should have moved a little bit in, just you know, down, <laughs> or like put a fence or something. something. Or maybe just did this at the base of the mountain. <laughs> maybe that's what we should have did. <laughs> Fuck. Just fell four million feet God, in a dude. hamster ball. <laughs> oh man. Fuck, dude. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, bobsledding to me is like just climbing into like a giant, like, drying machine. Yeah. You and four pals. Yeah. With a fucking yeah. helmet. Yeah. <laughs> just like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, um, uh, man. So, Calgary. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least he at least he died doing what he loved. You yeah. Know? Do, yeah. Something he was into. Yeah. Ice luge. Ice luge. Extreme. Yeah. Um, Speaking of ice luge. Luge. luge, 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 luge uh, ice lube, <laughs> ice lube, mm-hmm. uh, and crazy things. You know, one of the kids from Thirteen Reasons Why <laughs> is being accused of like, like, like a three way like uh, intent to murder trial or something. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Let me let me let me pull this up. This shit is uh, one of the ca- actors. Yeah, one of the actors. Because he his name's Ross Butler. He's the big Asian kid. I don't know how far he got in the series. Okay, if at all. I didn't. I didn't start it. He's this Asian dude in the series, and uh, he apparently, uh, apparently, he's real tight with Courtney Love. Like oh, weird. Yeah, very like super. It's a weird person to be tight with. Yeah. Okay, so he's getting sued for attempted murder charges. Yeah. Can I see the picture of this dude? Yeah. What? Well, so is this recent news? Yeah. Um. And and the Su- can you be sued for attempted that's murder? That's the thing is like so the guy is suing him. So it's not a criminal charge. Uh, so a guitar was stolen from his house or something. Mm-hmm. And I think it belonged to Kurt Cobain or I don't know. I'm forgetting the details. I'm probably gonna fuck this up. Anyway, the guy is suing him, and he's alleging that Ross and two other people conspired to steal this guitar and kill this guy. Which I'm like, this sounds just kind of insane. Like I, it's, it seems. Damn, that's a show in itself, right? <laughs> yeah, right, right. It's either going to be one of those things in twenty years that shows up on Netflix. I'm like, holy shit, you remember that story? <laughs> yeah. Wow, that, that fucking Ross Butler, or it's just like he, he's a crazy Hollywood dude. I, I think about that a lot right now. I think there's a lot of shit happening right now that's going to end up being TV on Netflix. Show. Yeah, like all the rap shit that's happening. Yeah. That shit. That's going to be a story. Yeah. Lil Wayne just got out of his fucking contract with Cash Money this morning, and yeah. the Carter Five is going to be released. Well. Yeah. So he, I think he sued Birdman for fifty million bucks, and he won. Dollars, I thought and he was- won. They settled for ten million. So he's getting ten million bucks. He's out of his contract now, and mm-hmm. the Carter Five is going to be released under Universal. Wow. I mean, this is an album that's been wanted, waiting, waiting yeah. for like f- how many years? So long. Four, I think. Four, I mean, five years, something like that. I would assume that's why he hasn't put out music. 
No, he, I mean, he put out the, the mixtape. No, he put out the mixtape, but I mean, like, I feel like... No, that's exactly why. Yeah. It's because he didn't want to do it under yeah. cash money. And they weren't... They just, like, holding that album hostage for whatever reason. Yeah. Because Birdman is... A uh, piece of shit. Yeah, and just greedy as well, fuck. But, like, that's crazy. <laughs> like, all this shit is happening within the last three weeks. Yep. The yep. little Uzi Vert, like, pulling up on Rich the Kid. Oh, you see man, that, that shit? was hilarious. <laughs> I know. That was just, like, two kids in high school fighting. Mm-hmm. So dumb. I know. So dumb. They should have just let him scrap, and they would have got over it. Dude, uh, fucking Hoodrich Pablo? Yeah, yeah. You got his chain took? Yeah, you got bad. Yeah. But why would he post that selfie of his fucking lip all busted up like that? I mean, because he's like, I don't know. He's Why wouldn't you do that? I mean, don't put the face. Just put the text. Just be like, yo, some dudes. I at least get some sympathy for it. I, I mean, dude, that gets <laughs> memed. Like, every hip-hop <laughs> account is like, boy, you ain't shit. Jump. The, the, the videos from the or the video from the dudes who stole it. Yeah, so rude, so rude. <laughs> it's like the worst shit. He's like, it wasn't enough that you just beat the shit out of this guy and that stole his chain. Chain. You gonna rub it in with that fucking video? What's also hilarious is like <clears throat> just the just them implicating themselves. Yeah, I know. Yeah, son, this is what assault look like. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't even afraid of whatever charge that come from this. <laughs> Because I took your shit. All three of us broke the law. Oh, what up? What up? What are you going to do about it? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's Here's hilarious. my address. <laughs> Wait, I just have to get one jab at 13 Reasons Why. It's a positive one. Mm-hmm, okay. Because it's, a positive jab. A positive jab. It's like an uppercut. Yeah. 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 You know? It's like lift, lifting up. Exactly. Lifting up. Yeah. Just Knocking like, someone up, but like yeah. lifting them up at the same yeah, time. Taking them to another yeah. level. Now, I sat and thought about it, and I was like, because I listened back to what I said. I realized I was more angry at the imagery and I didn't really think about the show. And I actually do think now that I had like a minute and I wasn't so pissed about watching a kid get raped with a broomstick. By the way, you know that happened? Someone linked me to the story. Oh, it's real. It's a real story. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. brutal. And I remember a hmm. kid in my high school got hazed real bad. Like a bunch of kids lost scholarships and shit. So it's not that unrealistic. I think more of just like uh, <laughs> the fact that there's like a ringleader. And all. anyway. People agreed with you though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing I will say, I think about the second season, though, that is good in a way is I think what they're trying to say was like, if you commit suicide, this is obviously a very exaggerated version of it, but it's yeah, like, they'll make a show about you. Yeah, they'll make a show about you and you'll get famous. <laughs> so you should do it. Um, Pretty much what Ingrid goes west. That's what the message was there. Yeah, <laughs> just, just try to kill yourself yeah. on Instagram live. Yep. And that's how you get famous. That, on Instagram. That's how that's how you do it. And you want to get you want to get a TV deal? How? Uh, you you start start a cult, kill kill over twenty people. That's how you get a TV <laughs> yeah. deal. You know, you will get at least eight episodes on FX. Yeah. Well, look at Waco. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Now I I think in one like the I guess the positive angle on it would be like you could kill yourself with and you have intentions as what's supposed to happen mm-hmm. and then you have no idea of like what the consequences of that will be, how it affects people, it can affect people in a horrible way. Because one thing they bring up on the show is like rape. Mm-hmm. And and I believe at some point it's like the girl who killed herself could have implicated a guy who raped this girl. And I see, I see. So it's like, uh, and then like the main character, like he keeps like having hallucinations of her and he starts screaming at her because he's like, you can't help us anymore because you're fucking dead. Oh, I see. And, and we can't do it. Our hands are tied. Uh-huh. And so it's like, okay, in that case, yeah. Okay, I see. But still, who's going to wait <laughs> 24 episodes to get that message? Uh-huh. They need to do that in like the first season. Mm-hmm. Make it simple. Anyway. Do you want to know Do you want to know a good show? What's up? This is the reason why I was late this morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Me for once. You. Was the late one. Okay. And it's because I was watching the uh, uh, last episode <clears throat> of the first season of Handmaid's Tale. Which no way, really? Oh, really? it's so fucking good, dude. Really? Okay. It is the best show I've seen in fucking forever. Okay, all right. What is that? Well, the main chick okay. is like a is like a Scientologist. So I'm like, I don't fuck with that bitch. <laughs> yeah, the actress. Yeah. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's oh, whatever. A- <laughs> is she really? Yeah. And so like, my wow, understand- that's a weird. That's like a whole new weird angle on the show. Then, isn't because the Handmaid's Tale kind of about like a cult? Sort of, sort yeah, of? yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, it, it's about this, like, it's about sometime in the future, mm-hmm. and like not even that far in the future, mm-hmm. um, where the birth rate is plummeting, and Got it. women and men are becoming infertile, like, faster than we can reproduce. Wow. And so the world is just getting shitty, and everyone's panicking, and whatever. And so this group overthrows the U.S. <clears throat> government, 
Got it. Uh, and they're a traditionalist group. Okay. So they believe that women are property and uh, God, blah, blah, blah. And it's okay. like the only way that they think it's the only way that they can save humanity is by reverting back to traditionalist values. Got it. And so all the women who can make children who are fertile are like are like rounded up and they become handmaids. They basically are owned by um, one of the families who are like a commander. Yeah. So all the like highest ranking people in the society, in the totalitarian Nist society. Yeah. That took, that you took got a it, second. You, got it. Yeah, yeah. you nailed it. Struggled through it, but it was fine. <laughs> um, and, uh, and so they're basically just slaves for like making children. Wow. And so the story is just about her. Okay. But like, you know, it's just crazy. <clears throat> like she, it's just, you want, you're watching a season of someone suffering. It's what? the darkest <laughs> show I've watched in so fucking long. Dude. Okay. It's dude. The shit that she goes through is insane. Yeah. Okay. All right. You know what else is good on the topic of suffering? I think it's called um, Evil Genius or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's something genius on Netflix. It's about a bank robbery. Okay. It's four episodes long. Oh, my God. Really? Oh, my God. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm surprised that's <laughs> not been a movie. If And if it's not, it's going to be. Is it old? Uh, This is a bank robbery that happened, I think, like... No, I'm saying the show. <clears throat> no, it's pretty new. I think it happened, like... 20 years ago. What's it called? What the fuck was it? I don't know. <laughs> you heard that? I don't know what the hell that was. I'm dying, dude. That was like saying that just. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. That was the girl from the ring. <sighs> You're going to get drunk in seven days. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, hello? Hello? <laughs> that was a little demon. Just Definitely. That just poked his head up. <clears throat> <laughs> That's how you know. <laughs> That's that's where all my evil jokes come from. Voldemort is hanging out <laughs> yeah. the back of my fucking yeah. head. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. The Dark Lord, we must catch him. <laughs> Just Smeagol. <laughs> Bro, so I'm gonna set the tone for this. So this bank robbery, this is how it sets up. Okay. A dude walks into a bank with a gun cane and a device like clamped around his neck. Like imagine a handcuff, but it's around his neck. Okay. And there's a shirt that says like, look at me or something. And it's a bomb. Like the, ooh. And it's ticking. Okay. So he robs the bank. He goes and then he tries to escape. And as he's driving away, the, you know, someone calls the cops to get a description and they stop him. It's a small town. He gets out of the car and he's like, it's a bomb. It's, it's going to go off. It's on my neck. It's a bomb. Then one of the officers lifts like the shirt and it's a bomb. And like they all like back up and they get around their cars and like they're posted with guns. And then that's the in, like that's this like the cornerstone of the robbery. Oh, so was he <clears throat> did someone make him rob the bank? Uh, Yeah. OK, so but he like, was not actually like what well, do the, criminal. the he, backstory is just like what? So there's like a couple a suspects. OK. And in and it's only four episodes. And this is real? It's real. Really? Real. Fucking hell, dude. Yeah. I gotta watch that. Damn. Yeah. yeah. It's so <laughs> yeah. I'm pumped. So I, welcome to the Netflix was, reviews <laughs> uh podcast. That's all this is. Yeah. I've been really into just watching TV. TV yeah. And then it's funny because we're um like this morning I'm just sitting, like I always just see snaps of people sitting in their beds watching the office or whatever. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Go, what are you doing? Get outside. Watching Family Guy. Yeah. South Park. What yeah. are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Go outside. Do something. What do you want? And it's like 4 p.m. They're in their beds watching whatever. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. You know? And then you switch over and turn on hand. Well, this too. morning, <laughs> this morning I woke up at like 6.30, whipped open my computer. Kelsey left for work. Dark as fuck in my room. Drapes are closed. And I'm just sitting there like this, just watching. I'm like, I'm I'm that person no, now. I'm you I'm didn't. that fucking person. <laughs> what? Yeah. Watch it in my bed. The weirdest hour to be the first thing in the morning. You're I know, like, I know. Let's go to Live Leak. <laughs> let's watch. I'm just go on Live yeah, Leak. Let's watch people suffer. Yeah. Just any kind of way. We were joking yesterday on stream, like if a dude just had Live Leak as his homepage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He just got like a huge account on Live Leak. Oh yeah, tons of karma. I fucking, <laughs> I fucking. I post videos of people dying all the time. His homepage is the is the video of the people in the hamster wheels falling off the cliff. 
every time he opens his computer, it's just a gif of, of, well, of no. the, the moments where they <laughs> it's topple a, over. It's his lively helplessly. dashboard, just like a YouTuber. Oh, yeah, this one is, oh, CPM is this one insane. Is per, this one is performing. <laughs> this one, ISIS video. I got, I don't, I don't got know. this one through a friend. Yeah, and, you know, he found it on a DVD. He ripped it. I gave him 50 <laughs> bucks. I don't know. I'm at 350 bucks on this thing. <laughs> So fucked. so fucked. Yeah, so six thirty in the morning. It's funny because uh, Kelsey and I are moving into a new place, and so we're talking about like what I'm like buying furniture and shit. So the best talking part. About what we're gonna. I'm actually pretty pumped. I bought some cool shit. Um, so we're talking about what we're gonna put in the bedroom. And she's like, we should get a TV, and I was like, I don't. Yeah, I don't really want to get a TV uh-huh. because I go to bed way before you. I, I'm not gonna s- yeah. sleep if you're sitting there watching TV. Yeah, and then six hours later, you I wake up. No, six hours later, I wake up, pop up my laptop, and start watching TV oh, at yeah. six thirty a.m. She's like, who's the, "Who's the one that's TV obsessed now?" That should be I'm a like, shirt. Damn, you're right. For like a goofy brand in like Nordstrom, who's TV obsessed now? <laughs> yeah, dude, let's make that as merch. Wait, speaking of merch, oh, 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 oh we got some designs. Yeah, we got some. So it should be uh, basically now. We just have to uh, finalize them and yeah. then. I'm guessing not next week, but the week after. That's yeah. when it'll go on sale. So well, I know it's a month late, but... Also, a lot of our top tier people keep asking. I'm just going to say it again. Uh, you will get some of the new merch. Yeah, uh, it's Not better. the old merch. It's, it's better. It's way better. It's way cooler. Um, <clears throat> what the fuck was I going to say? Oh, yeah. No, no. I wasn't done with a shitty, <laughs> with shitty uh, Nordstrom brand. Okay, like, yeah. Sorry. I've, I've just been like for the past, like when I was all in Europe, I just took a picture of a bunch. Oh, did you actually? Yeah. Let me look him up while yeah. I'm saying this, but I'm just like. I love that shit. There's so, like, just so bad. You know, I, I can't wait. Is there one that exists? Uh, binge me. Hmm? <laughs> binge that, watch me? Yeah. Binge watch me. Mm. <laughs> that's good. Thanks, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. <laughs> Really, really good, dude. You seen any good, uh, fat? Oh, the best fast fashion I saw in H&M recently <laughs> was a fucking sweater. It was split down the middle. It was black on one side, white on the other, and it said monochrome. I was like, oh, they're not even trying. Oh, God. It's, they're not even trying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's, it should, I mean, it's basically like, this shirt they're is like, black. Yeah, interns are designing. It's like, does anyone have any ideas? <laughs> Anything that... Uh, yeah, it's like, what about like wine o'clock? No, we did that. <laughs> Two well, seasons ago. Wine 30? Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Binge watch me? Yes, hell yes. Um, uh, Pull up some talking points. Well, <laughs> we're super prepared, guys. Oh, you know what? This is this is relatable, right? If you're watching the uh, video podcast, it's like you're hanging out with your friends. Your two friends are on their phones not talking. <laughs> and you're just looking at your phone not talking. Um, it was... Um, is, uh, it was National w- Donut Day last week. <laughs> you, you would celebrate that. Oh, yeah. Uh, did you eat any? Hey, you know what, though? <sighs> The fucking I like that day. I'm like I'm not I'm not buying no stupid donut. I'm not giving into this shit. But then the whole day I'm like I want a fucking donut. I know everyone's posting pictures of donuts. I'm like I want a goddamn donut. I know. And then like that weekend, <clears throat> I think is when I got those donuts and you came back and you saw me like Ooh, what are these? That whole weekend I'm like I need donuts. I need donuts. Really? I need donuts. Yeah. And I just ended up eating like five. I had a dream about donuts last night. I'm like. Since that day, I've just been thinking about donuts nonstop. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. You're me. Yeah, Turning pretty much. Me. What the fuck is happening? I'm getting up earlier. I'm more on time. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <clears throat> you're wait, You're being late watching TV. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's weird as fuck. Yeah. I'm, Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday, That's dude. what this is. Did we just switch bodies, bro? <laughs> um, no, National Donut Day for me was, is uh, <laughs> I just had that awful, awful tweet, but I think it's a funny concept. Of it. Sort of, you know? What? It's like this is this is our society's the purge because we're not we're not cool enough to do some shit like murder for a day. Right. But so we just murder our bodies <laughs> all of a sudden on National Donut Day. All of a sudden, it's OK for everyone just to fucking just stuff their face full of carbs. <laughs> just everyone gives ourselves diabetes on National Donut Day and it's totally accepted. So it's true. like for 24 hours, diabetes is legal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just an alarm. Yeah. <laughs> 
Everyone. Attention, citizens. That's only in LA because everyone in the Midwest is like ranching their purse. <laughs> They're like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Putting yeah. ranch on a donut. Yeah, every day. As the, it's like, what? <laughs> every day is National Donut Day. When we were in Italy, we were joking, like, just asking the waiters, like, hey, y'all got ranch? And just, <laughs> just watching them be like, <laughs> for the pizza. <laughs> a ranch? What's a ranch? And what is a ranch? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> How dumb do we look? Our, our impression of Italians is fucking Super Mario. <laughs> oh, what's a ranch? Oh, what is a ranch? Bebe papa cucina the ranch. The ranch sauce. What is it? I can't find these fucking shirts. God damn it. They were so bad. That's a shirt right there. Yeah, what? Got any ranch? <clears throat> I feel good about that one. Yeah, that binge watch me. Yeah. Hot sauce in my purse. Ooh. Or or my other shirt is a bottle of hot sauce. <laughs> oh. That was bad. <laughs> That was so bad I couldn't even really make it through that sentence. <laughs> God that was damn it. awful. God how about damn. um how about um uh fuck. Yeah, that should be no here, here how about this one? Yeah. <laughs> it just says real? It just says real in sequence. That's so lame. Real. I speak French fries. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no! I speak French fries. That's so bad. It's Holy a, shit. That's a hot one from G Mango. Give me another one. <clears throat> give me with another one. Forget the rules. If you like it, wear it. How? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> you need that on a damn shirt? Come on, man. <laughs> Ow. Hit myself in the face. <laughs> this is like an adult T-shirt. <laughs> How do you need this kind of advice at fucking twenty-five? It's also like we can tell. Yeah. But like <laughs> we can tell you're forgetting the rules with yeah. that fucking shirt. <laughs> look at that shit. What is that? You look like where's Waldo? <laughs> Striped with dumbass text on it. <laughs> oh yeah, here's a vacation. Okay, it's bedazzled. Yeah, that's lame. That's yeah, super that's lame. Oh. <laughs> And just millennial. Oh, just, no. Just on the nose. Oh, it says millennial. It just says millennial. God damn. Yeah. That's just giving up. That's what that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 100%. percent mm -hmm. That's like uh, that's like all the good designers quit, and then their their son, like, hey, uh, you've been uh, doing some stuff in Photoshop? Yeah. Well, all my designers walked out, and uh, we got to submit designs on Monday, mm -hmm. so just whatever you like. All right, how about this? <laughs> Millennial. Um. Well, we never put text on a shirt before, son. But <laughs> it's it sounds like a bar. Yeah, <laughs> like a trendy bar just named Millennial. You oh, been to the Millennial? This is the worst place ever. An Echo Park. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just filled with people that have it. Sign, yeah, signs that say "Boomers should die." <laughs> you ruined it for us. <laughs> No old fucks allowed. Yeah, just signs that say, uh, entry level job, needs two years experience. Uh, uh, hello? <laughs> hello? And all the drinks are like, um, <laughs> trying to forget my resume, <laughs> trying to forget my degree, or like, uh, these are bad. See, but this is, this is good though, because the bar sucks. <laughs> yeah. The bar sucks ass. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's some like, tropey stupid millennial shit um i don't know i got nothing yeah we're struggling with oh, yeah, this one bombing on this one yeah hey, it's a funny concept this. yeah millennial bar yeah how about everyone just wears a clark desert boots <laughs> and is <laughs> a youtuber call it a day <laughs> it sounds like a cool place actually yeah <laughs> dude speaking of that actually um home was great Home was great. The very first night I was there, my mom had a big family dinner because you know kids are back. Let's all yeah. let's get the whole extended family in the in the same room. And mm -hmm. it's like it used to be really easy giving the old like you know how have you been and and updating them on my life. Now it's a little bit more. So you make money from YouTube? Yeah, yeah. You gotta yeah. like. How does that work? Okay, so ads and and then I don't, and then and then you're so, like, like, so like, what's the goal? <laughs> I, this, I this. Don't, yeah. I'm having fun. I, I don't. <laughs> you know, it's I know it's not like a traditional career. This is hard for me to explain to you. <laughs> this, that conversation always looked like this. This is the other like adult. They're like, huh? Yeah. 
so you like set the drink down and they sit back. They're like, huh, I'm really curious. Yeah. So you just, what, 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 what kind of a comedy or, you know, my friend's niece is actually a really big fan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so funny. Um, my coworker's daughter's husband's nephew met him once last year. Yeah, mentioned Ooh. something about loves YouTube. <laughs> loves YouTube. Always on it. <laughs> yeah. He's watching this guy, um, Ninja, something like that. Yeah. Playing the games. Yeah, yeah. Do you do, do that sort of stuff? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think I get it. Yeah. And then and then on top of that, I'm talking a lot because, you know, I, I some of my relatives are like very well versed in like the whole just tech industry and stuff yeah. like that. So I was talking to them about streaming because mm-hmm. that's a whole new, they have no idea. Oh, really? That's, yeah. It's still niche enough where like people, like huh. they're like, you know, some of them are like investors and shit in oh. tech and they don't oh. really know like how big like Ninja is, for example, on wow. Twitch. Yeah. Oh, so you're like telling them? So I'm like, like, in, I'm like huh. yeah, yeah, exactly. To, to keep going? <laughs> yeah. Twitch. Um, but it was just crazy. I don't know. Yeah. Explaining to them. Yeah. Twitch and, and like, yeah, I don't know. Like it's like a whole new frontier that they mm-hmm. just have no idea. It actually is kind of like funny to think about. Cause like I, I obviously go through the same shit and I think anyone who makes money online, it doesn't even have to be from YouTube. It could just be like, if you're like an Amazon say like, you know, those guys that run like those Amazon seller accounts where they just bulk order Twinkies and mark them up 20 cents. Yeah. Like shit like that. Like, I'm like imagining, I mean, even that's a little more traditional, but I, I still think like something like that, an older person doesn't really get. Like, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, so, so, uh, you don't have to apply anywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to go in or interview. Huh. Who's paying you? <laughs> it's like me. Me. <laughs> well, see, that's the part I'm yeah. just. <laughs> Healthcare. Or okay, I'll be see. honest. You look like a loser, and I just don't, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> So wait, you're your own boss. You. So who do you report to? <laughs> you. <laughs> really? You? Your own boss. <laughs> I'll tell you something else. <laughs> I know he's got a boss. Oh, he's got a boss. He's got a boss hog. That's what he's got. <laughs> how's been? How's streaming been going for you? You've been streaming a lot. I have been. I've been going in. But you know, you guys, uh, yeah, I was watching your stream, you, Sam, and Spock. Yeah, it was really entertaining. No, thanks, dude. It was great. Thank you. It was great. It was a lot. Do you do you talk to your stream separate from the in game talk? I do. You do? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I'm fucking playing with you. I'm like, like I won't. I just won't hear anything. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you'll come in. All of a sudden you'll be like, yep, yeah, no, I heard you. I heard you. I'm like, yeah. well, where where are you? And you're talking in your fucking stream. Yeah, you know, you got to interact. Oh, so yeah. what? How do you how do you separate the Discord from the stream? I I use push to talk. You can do that on Discord. Mm-hmm. So I bind it. So like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so explain to me again. Yeah, <laughs> just exactly what you're talking about. Huh. Huh. So you can talk so, in- And you make money this way? <laughs> How? People are paying. And, and the, another crazy shit is that every time I tell someone this, they're like, wait, so you watch other people play video games? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, this is exactly the same sentiment that I had. Three months ago. Yeah. I was like, I don't get it. Yeah. I don't get it. And now I know how to play the game. I'm like, fucking, I could watch people play it all day. Yeah. Yeah. It is it's actually kind of funny how that works. Or like just when funny people play. Yeah. Yeah. And I, yesterday we got real loose. I told you a little bit. We were, <laughs> we were doing all the military call sign shit. It was, <laughs> it was so stupid. It was so goddamn funny. Mm. We were joking like, because <laughs> you know how like in war movies, it's always like some Southern dude and he's always like, <laughs> He's just got different shit like, yeah, I got me something waiting back home. A little girl I like to call thickums. <laughs> <laughs> just kept like going on about like, you see, when I get out of this here war, I think I'm starting me a YouTube channel. <laughs> I just can't wait to lay my hands on that first post. <laughs> I was riding the thickums and she said they got something now called Instagram. <laughs> it's a place you can share pictures. I want to be on the Instagram with Thickums <laughs> till the day. Of time. That's good. That's yeah, good. Yeah, I like that. I mean, then Sam just being Sam. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh brother. Yeah, hey brother, brother. I should have known this was gonna, the way it's gonna go down. 
I love you, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I want. I'm itching to play. Yeah, now. right. <laughs> I haven't thought about it in like five days, yeah. but I'm really itching to play. I'm like gonna edit for a few hours and go the fuck oh, off. God, I gotta edit. I gotta edit for a long time today. You know what? Yeah, that was me yesterday. You know what though? Let's let's give the people with we've been getting a ton of questions about this. David and Liza. Oh yeah, a ton of questions about that. Okay, yeah. Me first or you first? <clears throat> I'll, I'll go first. You're closer with them. Yeah, yeah, no. And I, <clears throat> yeah, I like both of them. Yeah. And um, I say that like I know them. I, <laughs> I've only shook hands with Todd. That's my okay. extent with yeah. the vlogs and Scotty. It's definitely sad. I think they sure. had something special for sure, but I think they still do. My biggest thing is when people are like, I'd seen you know, all over fucking Twitter. Their video went crazy mm -hmm. viral. Mm -hmm. All over Twitter, people are like, I don't believe in love anymore. I don't believe in love anymore. I don't believe in love anymore. And I'm to me, I'm kind of like, this, I think, should, like, reaffirm your belief sure. in love. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Because it's never it's never smooth sailing. No. At all. This is just what it is. Yeah. You Th know? That's what They're I... They're like, yeah, we're growing apart as people. But if you can sit there and still, like, look each other in the eyes mm -hmm. and, like, actually admit that, mm -hmm. that's love. You know what I'm saying? Yep. No matter what. Yep. Well, the thing I, I looked at was, like... Uh, <laughs> Not only is is that like very uh, real, but I was also like, you know, in the scope of breakups, it's got to be one of the easier ones. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it looked hard and it's like, but that's still easier because it's like they're both doing very well for themselves. They both have a passion and they can look after themselves. And it's not like a clean break so much. I mean, it is in that like they can... They're not relying too much on each other and like their interest in each other is pure. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's not how it's going to be for most people watching that yeah. video. Like yeah. you're going to get to that point and be like, oh, we got rent together though. Yeah. 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 I, you know, like, I'm, it's not like that, but it's just like for most people there are, there's still like steps after. Yeah. It's not like just a conversation. Boom. All right. Cool. For most people it's like, Okay, fuck. I got to tell her in the living room. We share. Then we got to figure out the after part. Then I got to tell her parents. And it's like, you know, it like, it's a fucking process, which yeah. I'm sure it still was for them. Yeah. But I still feel like theirs might have been, I mean, not easy, but I feel like they probably have more support yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Like it's a group of friends that are like, hey, we get it. Mm -hmm. Cool. You know, I think for most people, they, they encounter like a lot of judgment. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. It was, I mean, that was one of the things is that it worked very well in their favor. Yes, yeah. I mean, that was that was my only, like, issue with the whole thing was, I was like, it's, no matter, no matter, you know, no matter what, it's still David and Liza. It's yeah. still the two most calculated people yeah. on yeah. doing what we do. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. the two hardest working, mm -hmm. most calculated people ever. Mm -hmm. And no matter how, like, real that shit seemed... <laughs> I mean, the timed Instagram posts afterwards <laughs> no. where they both post at the same time with this long paragraph <laughs> and the fact that the, you know, the video, you know, I, I'm, I'm not saying it wasn't real. I'm just saying they know exactly what they're doing yeah. and they know how to make this shit work in their favor, you know, and it's, and it's fucking impressive. Great. <laughs> Lord, the Dobrik lines up. Heartbreak food and put them to sleep. They're awake. <laughs> Push their emotions sideways. <laughs> Pump the <their> views. <laughs> Make them think there's hope for the future and put them to sleep. Push their emotions sideways. <laughs> Temporary bottom. <laughs> Drop the volume. Then in six months, <laughs> they get back together. <laughs> 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 oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah and but like one thing another thing i had to say is that people like the i just everyone that was like yo i don't believe in love anymore they're the people that are sitting there watching that relationship being like wow that's like almost unattainable you know they're yeah. both funny they're both driven they're both and they're perfect together that's yeah. amazing right yeah. to me that that makes me not believe in love more so than seeing them in their raw state like breaking up in front of the camera that makes me believe in love more than yeah. Than this relationship yeah. that I'll never be able to attain. Yeah. Whereas, like, no, they yeah. got shit they go through too. Yep. Yeah. How does that not give you hope? Yep. Yep. How does that not give anyone hope that they're gonna find someone? I see. I, see. I will say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I do. I, I just do. think I. It was a much more positive thing. I think than people. Yeah. Uh, of course, it's sad, but it's like yeah. you know they haven't been making shit together for the past two three months. I, like, I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah. Yeah. Well, also, 
I just started thinking about like, like, I guess funny, like relationship shit, you know, like this is like, if I had to do a show, a stand up show for like people in their mid forties, I had no idea what they were or like what, who I was, this is the material I would use. But I was thinking like, like love to me is, is like when <laughs> you're like, you ever had an argument naked? <laughs> you ever had a petty argument, butt ass naked? <laughs> yeah probably or someone f- one of you is fully clothed yeah. and the other is butt ass naked yeah. that's love yeah when it's just like all out on the table and you don't even care and like you're fresh out the shower one, one person is clothed yeah one person's one clothed person's like, it's like one me. person's like ready for work about to leave yeah and the other person and the other person's just, just butt ass naked smells watching, like shit watching hands made hands made tail in bed. hasn't brushed their teeth butt ass naked pubes just <laughs> screaming at each other yeah dicks flying yeah. around as you're screaming whoa 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 <laughs> Don't use the meat spatula on the eggs. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? No, it's red. It's red for a reason. It's red. I swear to God. I swear <sighs> to God. You continue to disrespect. You know what? Just give it to me. I'll wash it. And give it to me. Storm over there to yeah. completely naked. Still naked. Dicks just- yeah. Still washing it. <laughs> you fucking. I swear to God. God damn it. <laughs> and you just chuck you know, it in. You can do the dishes every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just drying it <laughs> balls are still just butt ass naked yeah <laughs> just don't even notice and then and then like you have the moment and then you're like okay she's like <laughs> okay okay right. love you love you love you too G- give me a kiss she's like put some fucking clothes on <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, fuck. fuck oh <laughs> yikes I'm sorry <laughs> yeah that that, that that's real love. Yeah. And then when they come home and they're like, I'm so, did you just argue with me about a spatula with your <laughs> dick out before work? Yeah, I was thinking about that at lunch and I thought that was pretty crazy. I was thinking that. I was thinking about that at lunch when I was actually still she naked. <laughs> Watching Handmaid's Tale. I'm like, oh shit, I haven't moved all day. All I've done is gotten in an argument. Wow. Uh, yeah, arguing naked. Yeah. I think that's like when you know it's love. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's just it's just like shit like that. I yeah. want to say I want to say something else about like the the my point about the, it being calculated. Oh sure, because I feel like you know people like that's a that's a pretty like bad thing to uh, assume um, assume that mm-hmm. they like you know that they but like the next day or I guess in David's today his video yesterday or whatever the very first scene is like them in the car and they were like yeah we were trending top of Twitter or something and I was like. <sighs> Oh God. <laughs> Come on, bro. Yeah. I'm dude. I mean, I'm happy for you that it that you were I don't know. Yeah. It's just kind of funny. Yeah. They gotta do that though. You know, they're they're I was always in the limelight. They have to do that. They'd be stupid not to do that. Oh, I was thinking what we should do, we should clickbait an episode and we title it the same. We broke up and we should be crying in the still. <laughs> That's cringe. We broke up. <laughs> and then for we we didn't we didn't break up. We're still <laughs> friends. Anyway, uh, we're talking shit about Jake Paul today again. <laughs> <laughs> we should do a video on clickbait or something. Where we, yeah, yeah. We just, crying is like, I, mean, I brought this up before, but like me and Waleed were talking about doing a video where it's like showing a YouTuber crying, and we back out, and it's like us two editing. Like one of us is the crying YouTuber, yeah. and we're just like, yeah, you should auto tune that a little bit, <laughs> just like a little bit. You know what I'm saying like get the tone like real like that. Ah! Like get it nice, you know what I'm saying? Or like, or like, <laughs> it's a YouTuber crying in front of the camera, and then it like pulls back, and it's them editing the video crying. Yeah, <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> it's so fucking good. I'm crying again. Oh my god! Hold on. Pull up their phone for Instagram story. I'm gonna post a video <laughs> in like two minutes. <laughs> it's the most I mean, emotional so video big. I've posted. Yeah, I was uh, <laughs> K fucking Spock's girl was like. I'm going to kill myself. What are we going to do now? And, and then, oh, like, about, yeah, about David, David and Liza. Liza. Yeah, yeah. Then she jokingly was like, well, good luck, guys. I'm like, good luck with what? She's like, hottest YouTuber, like, couple vlogger. And I'm like, David and Liza broke up, not me and Alina, you fucking, <laughs> you racist ass. <laughs> She's chuckling. That's so. funny. That's funny. Yeah. Well, yeah. Sad day for love, but not really. Not really. No. No. I think go, it's a good thing. Go watch Celeste and Jesse forever. All right. What is that? That's like a very, very real, like, that's the video I told you. It's that rom com that I told you that it's like Alina's favorite movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. And it's about 
like Andy Samberg and Rashida Jones play this couple. She's the breadwinner. He's kind of the loser. Mm-hmm. They got married every, and then now they're like in the process of separating mm-hmm. and he lives in her back house and then he ends up like finding someone else mm-hmm. and it's her like wrestling with being okay with that. Yeah. Damn. It's fucking brutal. What's it called? Celeste and Jesse forever. Okay. I'm gonna watch that. Be prepared to cry. I'm trying to be in my fucking feelings. Be prepared to I'm cry. I'm trying to be in my feelings. Yeah. yeah. Handmaid's Tale got me in my like, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like angry yeah. shit. But I want to be in my feelings. I want to yeah. be inside them. Yeah. I want to crawl into my feelings. And just be deep in there. And just be deep into my feelings. <laughs> and I just want to just, just like, you know, curl up like a baby. Yeah. In my feelings. Yeah. You See, know, you, just the warm... Ness. On on that subject, do you think a uh, little Reese is gonna kill Takashi Six Nine? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just think, dude. I just think, what? Why? Why? Why is Six Nine doing this shit? I think. Why, dude? Just fucking chill. Make music. Here's what I. What think. What are you doing? Why are you threatening? What are you doing? I I think him trying to agitate three hundred and like those guys <laughs> is actually a uh, good timing. Because I. I Cause I think they're older now, you know, like when we, we think of Chief like, Keith is like 20, but no, we, <laughs> we think of like 15, 16 year old chief Keith when they were like, not like nothing mattered. They didn't care about consequence. Chief Keith was in and out of court, you know, Lil Reese would just, you know, snap his fingers, get somebody shot. Yeah. I feel like now they got money. They got things they like. I think they're now a little more like, like I did my dirt. Yeah. And like, so it's okay for Takashi to like go, Oh, woo, woo, woo. Cause they're like, man, like, I, I don't have to prove anything. I hope so. I hope they don't do anything. You, you see in his his, uh, his latest video, he's like, I'm trying to go eight for eight. I'm trying some new shit. And he's rapping like Valley. Oh, he's oh. He's doing that same Valley flow. Wait, is it on his yeah, Instagram? Yeah, it's on Instagram. See Cole Bennett's tweet. He was like, can we at least let Valet like, get on before we start stealing, before everyone starts stealing his it's flow? It's so happened. true. Everyone's jacked his shit. I know. Everyone. And he hasn't really had a chance to actually, like, be his own name. Nope. nope. Is it Valley or Valet? I don't know. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> I'm calling Valley. This episode is brought to you by Intel. Hey, what's up, guys? We actually had to cut out this part of the podcast because we got a copyright claim. Uh, so how about we just make up a song? How about some farts? That beat is insane. That beat is so far. Yep. Uh, I think that's enough. Maybe it's not. Um, anyway, all right, here's the rest of the episode. Thank it's you. It's still Valley shit, though. Yeah, it is. 100%. It's all the way Valley 100%. shit. If you guys want to hear a great flow, look up 216s. V-A-L-E-E. Yep. What's that song called? 216s. 216s. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. People are just jacking it left, right. Mm-hmm. Tyler did. Tyler did. Like 100% yep. did. Yep. All the so, way. So, yeah. What are we at? I don't know. Um, uh, we got an important business call. We do. For... To answer. Which in, is crazy. In... Two minutes. Really? Um, Literally in two minutes? We have to take this call in two minutes, but then we'll come back and we'll do a little bit more. Okay. Where are we at right now? 48 minutes. Oh, word. Oh, when we come back, I actually got something, a fucking, some, I've been, Bachelorette new season started. Oh my God. No, bro. No, this is, this shit is so goddamn funny. This clip, if we could react to this without mm-hmm. getting a fucking takedown from ABC, I, pr- dog, a million views. Let's overnight. do it. Let's pull it up on PC, screen record it, and then react to it. Uh, I don't know if you can get playback on it. What do you mean? ABC is like really like... like You can view their shit online, can't you? Uh, or on iTunes. Can't you get the episode if you pay yeah, for it? Yeah, yeah. So but, we could do it that way. Yeah, yeah, we could screen record it on PC. I mean, if they take it down, they take it down. I don't think you'd get a strike. Or we don't monetize it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we don't want it. But I really want to talk about it because it's so goddamn funny. Okay. We get to, I'll still talk about it okay. when we come back. But. Yeah, yeah. We're going to take a quick break, you guys. We're going to see you in uh, a second. All right, bye. All right, bye. All right, we're back. We're back. Hey, what's up? I was just, hey, yeah. Oh, now it is in both ears. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. How have we not said that one time this episode? I don't know. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Did you, Sorry, we got way too uh, uh, caught up in talking about love Yeah. to really to, yeah, this, to even think about creepy fort or creepy overwatch dude yeah, this, yeah this 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 episode took a turn but let's let's bring it back to the funny with the goddamn bachelorette <laughs> wait yeah wait i just want to say real quick how funny it would have been so we just had a 40 minute call <laughs> <laughs> we're like talking over like like just like details of this fucking deal that we're doing and then it, i was thinking how, how funny it would be at the very end of the thing they're like all right you guys have any other questions and we're like 
Yeah, actually, I think we're not going to do yeah, this. Yeah, I think, you know, we'll just... <laughs> we're good. Yeah, we just... Uh, I think, uh, yeah, we're just actually not interested anymore. Yeah. It's um, like, what? But you just sounded so pumped. We yeah, talked about it, shit no, for 40 it's, minutes. It's fine. <laughs> I think Honestly. We're just, I think we're good. Thank you guys so much for your time, though. Appreciate it. Um... <laughs> I'm out but, with this bitch. Sorry, but, but well, hold on. You just signed. I just don't, a, yeah, I just don't want to do the deal anymore. So. You ju- but you just signed a. Yeah, you'll be hearing from my lawyer. It's all good. Thank you guys. Appreciate. Uh, it. Holy <laughs> fuck! The balls on this. these dudes. We should offer them double. <laughs> that was insane. That was insane. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, we're not gonna do it. Yeah, we're good. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, That's so funny to me. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, all right, guys, and so, um, yeah, you know, it's been great. And if you guys have any other questions, I think that, yeah, actually, you know what? We're good. We're uh, we're like all the way good on doing this deal. We're just kind of not gonna do it. So, <laughs> peace. Hmm. Beep beep. <laughs> I just emailed like fifty fucking people. <laughs> I just emailed fifty <laughs> fucking people. <laughs> And they, about this deal and they canceled on us <laughs> that must be what it feels like when like uzi vert or someone doesn't show up to a show oh definitely they're a headliner yeah and the that feeling for the promoter must just be like 10 minutes till he's on stage yeah 100 percent. there's no way he's gonna just meanwhile he's at home just taking a dump naked yeah <laughs> just not even th- <laughs> didn't even think about coming he calls him hey it's um it's my yeah, I'm good, bro. Yeah, but um like <laughs> they're waiting for you. There's like a thousand people here and you know, my yeah, my no, job's I'm, kinda on the line. No, so. it, I get it, bro, but I'm I'm good. Yeah, no, I get you know, I, I, I totally get that. I understand where no, you're coming I, from. I know I, I know that you get me that and, and you should know that you should get that I'm I'm good. <sighs> Can you just come for me? <laughs> just do do it for me, man. You know, we've been working together for what? Three months now. I don't. I don't. I don't remember you, bro. If I'm being honest, <laughs> man, I got a family, dude. I'm gonna get fired. Yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes, man. I'm it's cold as hell, man. You're I'm, cold. I'm good. I'm good. I ain't. <laughs> I'm good. All right. I never. I never even. Oh, what was that? I've never I, even. I, I never even got my chain Swedish snack. rapper. <laughs> I've never had my my chin. I've never even had my chain snatched, man. My, my noodle chin is snitched. <laughs> my noodle schlist stolen from me. That sounded more Russian than anything. Yo, Bachelorette, this dude, <laughs> this show is awesome. Mm-hmm. It's so shitty. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, so they're at the. So you know the story with this chick. The dude proposed to her, took it back. That whole number. Oh, that's the girl. Yeah. So oh, the now they made we... her the Bachelorette. Gotcha. And now it's like revenge. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And that's the theme of the show. Is they keep bringing up this dude, mm-hmm. but I'm laughing because I'm like, yo, what if she's like actually moved on, and you guys just keep bringing him up? Because mm. that's how like they every date or whatever. It's always like something like she. Had, hey, a, man, I'm so sorry about what happened. Yeah, with Chris yeah. or whatever. Yeah, and that's every guy. And she's like, I'm over that shit. Yeah, just shut the fuck up. Just just move on. Yeah. So. Like, they brought her to some warehouse, and they brought a bunch of shit. It was, like, a TV playing their proposal, and she got to, like, smash it with a sledgehammer and stuff. Yeah, it was very, like... Weird. It's kind of corny. Yeah, definitely corny. Yeah, because that dude... Really? Now, the Bachelorette is corny? Yeah, I mean, yeah, right. Weird. Yeah. Weird. I'm like, what? What the? Wait a second, dude. This show's kind of <laughs> lame. <laughs> Season 30. <laughs> wait a minute. <sighs> this isn't real. Dude... <laughs> So, so they're at the phase where it's like 50 guys and they're all in love with her and she's like trying to narrow it down. Mm -hmm. And so there's this uh, male model kid and he hasn't got his one-on-one time with her. So there's another guy who's like a venture capitalist guy is so boring. Just so like, yeah. And then I, you so the male model kid just like trying to like get her attention, just strips down just to his boxers. And throws a fucking towel over his shoulder and he walks up while they're talking and he goes, Hey, can I steal you for a second? And she's like, Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, sure. And then they go talk and the dude is just like, (laughs) 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 
And then, so he finishes the he's one. Like, he's like making that sound. I, I, I watched half of Blade Runner yesterday on the plane. Yeah. That sound when they hit the back of their necks or whatever, and they're like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly it okay and then uh so he so the male model kid finishes his discussion with her and he's fucking around like he's just walking around naked and people are like you know just the dudes are like egging him on like all right give me give me blue steel give me marlon brando and he's like you know like just shooting different looks and stuff so he sits down and he's just in his fucking underwear and business shoes and i'm like the kid is a dumbass, but I'm like mega alpha move to oh, just yeah. like hundred <laughs> percent. Uh fuck all these guys. Yeah. What's good? Yeah. And so the VC guy didn't like that because you know he's got like just the the worst body. Yeah. Because he probably spends like the majority of his life in a in, suit. Yeah. Not his birthday suit. No, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like a, no, because I was gonna a say real, a real suit. He <laughs> had the most suit on. Like every everyone else's suit was like <laughs> the thin, most suit. Tight fitting. His was like like chalky, like <laughs> Yo, armor. That's so suit. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that's, that's a lot of suit, my guy. <laughs> that's like seven thousand thread, like heavy. His shit looked like a. That is so suit. It looked like a fucking like a like a gi like that you wear to like a jujitsu class. <laughs> like his shit was heavy. He was hot in that thing. And so the uh, fucking it's got like rain protection built into it. <laughs> yeah, it's hydrophobic. Yeah, it's waterproof somehow. And... <laughs> it's all weather. It's an all weather suit. That's what you need working in New York. So this fucking so this dude, the male model kid, sits down across from him, just fucking package out everything, and the guy's so he's like naked. Basically, I mean, dog, them shorts were barely shorts. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. And it's like the way he did it, like his dick was like level with her eyes, and was like, "Can I talk to you for a second? So. The, the fucking VC guy is like, do, do you think what you did is respectful to Becca? I'm like, oh, he's about to, he's about to sue him. Uh-huh. Like that's what he's gonna do. <laughs> he's gonna fucking sue him right now. Yeah. And then, and then the fucking male model kid is just like, yeah. He's like, or and then he's like, do, do you think it's embarrassing? He's like, no, I took off all my clothes to, you know, I fully knew what I was doing. I'm not embarrassed. And he's like, do you think it was respectful to me? <laughs> it's like I don't care yeah, exactly like what a dumb fucking thing to say yeah. like clear, I'm like you might be a VC dog but you are dumb as nails yeah I, when in an argument you just you're automatically going to get no from that question <laughs> yeah what do you think he's going to just roll over and be like yeah dude I'm sorry I pulled my fucking dick out <laughs> and I won and I won dude <laughs> I'm sorry I fucking look this good you know what <laughs> that's mad disrespectful to you man to you, it's homie. my bad it's my bad that I'm super hot Dog, Way hotter than you. Let me go put on some clothes and dap you up <laughs> with respect. Let me put on my respectful clothes. And yeah. the dude is just like going back and forth and he tries to make some comment about his fucking IQ. He's like, I don't think you're smart enough to understand what I'm saying. I'm like, ooh. Oh, it's like, it's like, dude, do you think it's disrespectful that you're wearing so much more suit than me? <laughs> what about your fucking thick <laughs> suit? Just, <laughs> How, how do I compete, dog? Yeah. Your shit can stop bullets. <laughs> what is that? Eight pieces? Is that a vest? 19, actually. Underneath the vest? It's a 19-piece suit. If you're wearing a monocle, <laughs> it's still suit underneath. <laughs> <a> top hat? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Guy pulls up to the fucking bachelorette and a, and a cane. looking like the fucking Monopoly guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just so oh. rich. So rich. Pocket watch yeah. and everything? <laughs> It would appear that I'm here exactly on time. Pleasure to meet you, Carlton Graves. <laughs> it's like 80 years yeah. old. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck happened in the show? <laughs> One old, old <laughs> ass contestant. Ass bastard, dude. Just not physically hot, yeah. but like, <laughs> like so, <laughs> so rich. rich and powerful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have you know I own uh, uh, olive oil in South Texas. <laughs> I'm one of the first to uh, initiate mining in, in certain parts of Kuwait. <laughs> I was actually contracted by George Bush Jr. to initiate that drilling operation. I look forward to meeting you inside and the rest of the boys. I have 14 grandchildren. <laughs> Just picture yeah. sauce, pit, a, a picture sausage Bro. unfolds Dog, it. He just gets out of the fucking limo. <laughs> uh, hold on. Just give me one. Second. Oh my god. I'll be right 
there. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you, you, you know my legs. <laughs> was something of a novelty <laughs> when I was your age. <laughs> oh, my God. I was an athlete. <laughs> my g- g- goodness. She's like an eighth of the way there. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what the fuck is happening? What's going on here? <laughs> Why haven't they done that? Why haven't they put just a super old-ass dude on The Bachelor? <laughs> like 60. Shitload of money. That's not that old, dude. Like, okay. I'm, okay. What about right, like right, what, what about like old. a young sixty? That's what I mean. Super rich, rich, but like, like you know, rich in life experience too. You know, like he's oh, just a burnt ass like. No, he's like a swaggy, dude. super rich, good looking five sixty languages. year old. Do you think he would just absolutely just demolish the younger guys? Um, you know what I'm saying? I think he'd lose. Like, he's it. like, I know how to treat a woman. Like actually. I think he would get all the way to the end and then like lose in like the final rounds. Yeah. Cause then she'd be like, <sighs> Yeah. She's like, I just not I, that. D- I can't explain Twitch to you every <laughs> time we hang out. It's just fucking <laughs> I can't do it. But I think he'd get super far. <laughs> yeah. Indefinitely he'd get yeah. very far. Yeah. That, I mean, like I'm talking like most interesting man in the world looking dude. Yeah, yeah, I think he'd get pretty far. Just like so fucking cool, just, just cool, like the coolest dude. Just gets out, <laughs> just walks up. Hey, pleasure. Uh, I know a lot of these other boys are gonna have very clever tricks and things. Uh, there are no tricks with me. No. I'm just me. I'm just me. And he's just got a voice, and she's like, "Oh, wow." Twice married. I have three kids. <laughs> you know, they all go to. Berkeley. They all they, they all go to uh, Harvard, Brown, and uh, Yale. Mm-hmm. So you know, uh, me and my ex wife split amicably. She's happily married, and I'm happy for her. <laughs> oh, boom! You know, I am. Uh, wow. I believe women are entitled to do whatever they please. She just faints. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, I got you. Don't worry about that. I learned CPR when I was doing uh, rescue work in Thailand. <laughs> uh, that's something they don't teach you in the states is is this: where if I put my two fingers on your stomach. <laughs> You feel that? They call that your second heart. Yeah, I learned that from the locals. <laughs> All right, I'll see you inside. <laughs> Next. Like, it's over. Can yeah. we just... <laughs> Next. Let's fast forward to the end right now. Next guy comes up with a fucking... With a race car. Yo, what's up? James. <laughs> Good to meet you. Um, I actually work at Chiba Hut down in Pacific <laughs> Beach. <laughs> Dude, the little like gimmicks people use to try to like break the ice yeah. are always just so just fucking like, hey, what's up? Um, I'm I'm Ingram. I played uh college football, high school football. I wanted to play in college. <laughs> and um, so I brought this football and I figured we could do a little uh pass run for you to get to know me. Uh, oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, all right. Mm-hmm. One of the chicks on the last, uh, her name's Tia. She made it to the final rounds in the, the Bachelor. She's from Wiener, Arkansas, which is pretty funny. Uh-huh. When she walks up and she goes, she gives him like a little Oscar Mayer Wiener car, and I think she says something along the lines of, "I hope you don't have a little Wiener already." Just like out the gate, I was like, "Yo, whoa!" Imagine you do. You're like, um, <sighs> yeah, big gulp. Yeah, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Get her off <laughs> right now. <laughs> I still want to see a top hat guy. <laughs> That's the funniest fucking it comes to kind of Monopoly man. Comes in on the horse and carriage. Yeah. <laughs> what's the uh what's the um Le- Leo movie? Which one? Where he plays a rich dude. Uh, uh the Great Gatsby. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm actually I'm actually friends with Gatsby. <laughs> That's the type of dude I picture <laughs> walking in. You heard of the Great Gatsby? <laughs> That was written after my brother. <laughs> Poor man. Lots of dreams. Couldn't quite do it like me. I love the fucking greeting. I love the just the first words that come out of their mouth. I walked upstairs, my parents were watching it. Yeah. And this dude gets out. It was the it was that portion of the show. <laughs> which I guess is the whole first episode. They just meet yeah, or what? It's like two hours long. Yeah. So the guy just like comes out of the limo and he just goes, How's it going? <laughs> That's every <laughs> greeting. That's the first words every time. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> Hey, how's it going? You look amazing. <laughs> you look incredible. <laughs> then what is every cutaway interview? 
It was my first time laying eyes on Becca. I'm just like, oh, wow. <laughs> that could be my wife. How's it going? <laughs> Yo, how's it going? For sure. <laughs> She, uh, <laughs> they gotta, yeah, they gotta do more reality show shit. Like just, just like a gay dude. Yeah. You know, a gay, like gay bachelor. No, I'm saying like a, like all of a sudden a gay dude gets out of the limo. Oh, <laughs> she's like, he's like, Hey, what's up? And I'm she's, not here. To, I'm just here. We're going to be friends. Like yeah, I'm going to yeah, be your best yeah. friend or I'm something. Just, oh, fuck. And dude. she's like, no, 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 no. That should be a component. <laughs> the wingman. He's yeah. like covert gay, yeah, but yeah. no one else knows. Yeah. Yeah. So he comes out. He's like. The boys don't know that I'm gay. <laughs> so I'm your inside track. <laughs> so these little motherfuckers are getting into, okay? He's just like dual personality, like Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah. like, oh shit, oh, okay. Oh shit, a dude gets out of the limo, just doesn't even speak any English. <laughs> Can't speak English. But like super hot, like Brazilian <laughs> dude, you know? Hola. Como estas? I mean, that's, that's not Portuguese, but... <laughs> but Brazilian Spanish, too. Uh, I thought they spoke Portuguese. Oh, man. I'm pretty that sure it's Portuguese. It's, no, but I think it's two official languages, isn't Obrigado. it? Obrigado. Maybe I'm fucking wrong I about think this. So. Do you know Portuguese? Mm, no. Some of... Uh, no. So what do we have? We had a super old dude. Get that Super old dude. Flamely gay dude. Covert gay. That's Co the wingman. Covert man. gay. That's the okay. wingman. Um, dude, Portuguese guy. Portuguese can't speak guy. English. Yeah, hot foreign guy. Yep. <clears throat> can't speak any English. I come... Looking for visa. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. He's just solely there to get a visa. She's like, okay. That should good dog, to meet you. That would make the show like really real. <laughs> like real as fuck. Yeah. Just like all kinds of just strange. Oh, what's what's another one? What's another one? Deadbeat rich parents. Yeah. Yeah, I've got like a thirty eight hundred million in a uh, uh, trust fund. Yeah, and I'm just waiting like one more year, <laughs> twenty two, and it's all mine. So you know, I'm looking for a chick that I could like fucking live it up with. She's like thirty eight hundred million. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, stoked. <laughs> so the pleasure doesn't work out. It's fine, honestly. <laughs> um, but your fucking tits are dope, dude. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought this was Love Island. Oh, oh wait. wait. We're all competing for one? Dude. Oh. <laughs> Cut away. So I don't really fucking know it's going to be like a sausage fest. <laughs> like, on honestly, I'm about to call some chicks over here right now just to like <laughs> even it out, dude. Yeah, I got so my girls like live right around here. <laughs> yeah. What about a dude that just that can only say, how's it going? <laughs> So he gets out of the limo. How's it going? So he's like, fucking, she's like, good. How are you? How's it going? <laughs> how's it going? He's like Groot from fucking <laughs> yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy, which is how's it going? What's your name? How's, how's it going? going? Good. Wow. Lots to say. Hell yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, the hell yeah guy. <laughs> hey, right, After shit. everything she says. I like. I like. You know. I like orange juice. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Yo, that's the that's the creepiest phrase of 2018, I think. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What's one more dude they could put on the bachelorette that would just like fuck it all up? They would just throw it throw it off yeah. completely. Um, what's a goddamn stereotype? Adam 22. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just Adam 22 gets out of the car. Dude. Dude, speaking of that shit, so I was, uh, I was, uh, are we done with this? Should we move I, on to I this next so. thing? Okay. Oh, wait, you boys. <laughs> or no, yeah, yeah like a, like a. <laughs> Got. A SoundCloud rapper. Oh, Just yeah. Face full of tattoos. Hell yeah, bro. Gets out of the, like, out of the limo. Lil, Lil Pump too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, braids, yeah. the whole deal. Just like. <laughs> Two two bus downs. Two, two bus downs. Yeah. Five bus downs. Dude, he gets out the limo. His homies are with him. Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. 10 dudes get out the limo. She's like, what the How's fuck? It How's, it How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Let's get it. Nah, nah, nah. He's got to be the most excited one. And all his homies are straight like gangsters. Like they, yeah. they don't talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all behind. He's like, what up? <laughs> My name is Lil Pong. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, who, who are your friends? Trayway shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, it's six nine. Yeah. Trayway shit, man. 
He's all small in front of her, just like five three. <laughs> hey, listen, listen, look, 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 look. You tall, right? My record's tall as you, right? <laughs> eight for eight. Eight for eight. <clears throat> Man, who the fuck keeps blowing me up, bro? <laughs> All right, anyway, speaking of which. <laughs> so Let's get it! She's like, oh, hell no. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> Lil Pong, Lil Pong, Lil Pong, ooh. Hey, listen, if y'all, if you want to get to know me, there's only one thing you need to know. I like bust downs <laughs> and lemon pepper wings with fries and ranch, bitch. That's Let's it. Get it! Let's get it! <laughs> She starts up, gets out of the limo, dude. <laughs> she's, she's like, what? They go to the one kids <laughs> extremely underage. <laughs> He's 18 in four days, so yeah. it's fine. We can keep her. Dude, they're one on one. She's like, so. It's like J. Cole. Yeah, it's that his, same conversation. Yeah, the exact same. So, like, you're a rapper. Yeah. Yeah. Do you. How do you come up with your lyrics? I mean. I don't like you know just like studio and you know you know what I mean yeah I I think I get that (laughs) (laughs) so are you looking for marriage like why did you come on the show he's like I I ain't got no more room for any more rings (laughs) (laughs) I'm trying to put hella rings on like other people's fingers (laughs) he's just obsessed with putting rings on people like, if I do it, I'm not going to give you, like, one ring. I'm going to give you, like, seven. <laughs> I just got it. I just got it. I'm going to give you, like, seven <laughs> rings. I just got it. <laughs> oh, I'll fuck. probably give you, like, bust down, seven <laughs> rings, and, like, a bracelet. Well, that should be a track right there. I gave that bitch a bracelet. <laughs> uh, I gave that bitch a bracelet. Ooh. Uh. And she starts getting all hype. She's like, okay, here he goes again. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Uh, we gotta make that a fucking show, just, The Bachelor, but just weird. Yeah, uh, what will we even call it? I don't know. Um, <laughs> so finding uh, finding love in L.A. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Finding love in L.A. Just there, there was a show, Burning Love or something. They did like a, but I don't think it was like that. No, it was just straight parody of The Bachelor. Yeah, Do you no. know what I'm talking about? No, it was apparently really fucking funny. Okay. Um, okay, this is what I was going to say about Adam22. So I, he, I was like on YouTube the other night, just randomly. It was late and he was live streaming. So I clicked on the live stream. Yeah. And he was doing a podcast with um, uh, his girlfriend and then Kendra something. She's a porn star. Okay. Blonde porn star. And uh, she was like, I clicked on it and the video started and she goes, Yeah, I've had sex with Jeezy. And I was like, Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> and uh, And she goes, Yeah, I had a threesome with him and Halsey. And. <laughs> And Adam was like, did he, Adam was like, no way. Did he get Coke dick? And she was like, yeah, he did. <laughs> I was like, holy fuck. What a, what a fortunate time for me to click on this video. And you can just close it right there. <laughs> I was like, that's all I need. All I need. Boop. And then she goes, and I fucked Kid Cudi. And Adam was like, whose dick is bigger? And she's like, Kid Cudi's. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. And I was dude. like, holy fuck. I just, this was sensory overload. Just, just in five seconds. Yeah. Yeah, I've had like a big ass orgy with <laughs> all these famous people, and this is what their dicks look like. <laughs> Whoa! Damn. Well, more than I bargained for. Yeah. Uh, that's weird, dude. How about that shit about uh, XXX though? Oh, dude. bro, bro. If you guys okay. don't know what we're talking about the article um, uh, by saying, s- reporters God Miami Miami Times. Miami no, 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 no. Like that? Let me let me let me pull up. No, it was I was think, it? Yeah, because that shit local. That shit needs credit. Because she found his... You know, you realize how she found his crib? She found a speeding ticket with his address and just showed up. It's crazy. That's and, like... And it's crazy that he wasn't smart enough to know that she was basically setting him up. Yeah. Because she's writing this article condemning him, yeah. essentially, right? Yeah. And then she's asking him all these targeted <clears throat> questions that mm-hmm. she knows he's going to answer poorly. Yep. Like, do you believe in feminism? And he just goes, no. And he goes, no. Yeah. And he has no idea that she's there basically to finish this article that she wrote, like profiling his long uh, <laughs> habits of abuse. His lawyer must have been like, you, you fucking, fucking idiot. dumbass. I mean, the kid's an idiot. Yeah. The kid is a fucking <laughs> idiot. So here's my thing is that I was never, because I know we talked about this before, like separating the art from the artist. And we were mainly talking about Takashi. And that's when it was like, 
I don't know. It was like the thing with X was that I never <clears throat> was a huge X fan, so I never like dove deep into like what the fucking allegations were. Yeah. And I I would go on Reddit, and it was like I think at that time a lot of X fans were like caping for him. So I'd always just see like she lied, she dropped the charges, she lied, it's not real. And I never, I just didn't know who the girl was. So in my mind, I was like, oh, I, I, if the charges were dropped, maybe there's something illegitimate about the situation. But the like then I read the whole article, I felt like such a piece of garbage. I was yeah. like, this girl's life was ruined. And I'm yeah. like, yo, fuck these kids. Like, oh yeah, dude. Like, uh, his, fuck their their his yeah, fans. his fans suck shit, bro. Dude, so, okay, if you didn't read the article, you should. First of all, it's great. Yeah, it's um, it's, it's, uh, it's like a great piece of journalism. Yeah, Second of all, so she interviews his ex girlfriend, who mm, basically goes into all the abuse that he. I mean, he like kidnapped her. Essentially, Basically. kept her in a room. He beat the shit out of her. She was pregnant. He beat yeah. her up. Yeah. And anyways, so at one point, she she basically got like punched in the face so hard or something. Her eye socket, like yeah, yeah, she yeah. had to get surgery on her eye socket or something like that. Yeah. Right? So what it was was that, well, it was two one. So the pregnancy thing was that that's the only one that's gray because I guess she posted a picture of like <laughs> getting a test and it shows negative for pregnancy. Mm. But like, so people kind of ironed out the timeline. They said, well, she may not have been pregnant. Okay. But maybe she got a false positive or whatever. It, the thing is, people bring that up like it changes that he's a bad person. It's mm. like, no, like what he did sucks. Mm. So like, yeah. <clears throat> so what it was is that morning or like sometime after the pregnancy, he like spazzes and is like, uh, tell me who he is or I'll fucking kill you or something. I'll kill you and this lame ass jit, like talking about the baby. And she's kind of like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Dog, he headbutted her, beat the shit out of her. Like she was like, she described it as unprecedented force. And she, so she got a frat, her left orbital had fractures. And I'm like, I've only heard of that in <clears throat> UFC shit. In kickboxing fights. Uh, Miracle Crow Cop did that to Bob Sapp, uh -huh. ended the fight. And, I'm, and she tried to start that GoFundMe, and these fucking shitty ass fans like reported it and got it taken down. Yeah. And then she gets a job, and, and his fans came and her find, found out where she was working, came to the job and harassed her, so she had to quit. <clears throat> so yep. she just ruined this girl's life for mm -hmm. no fucking reason. Yep. And and so and her point about Awful. like being afraid to testify because <clears throat> his fans were in the street and at the end of the trial she has to walk back out in the street. So it's like now I get because when it said fifteen like like charges of like uh, uh witness tampering I'm like fifteen how the fuck is it that many Yeah but like the thing about like the calls from jail I want to hear those Yeah he's such an idiot Two hundred and seventeen and they'll they'll be released in September or something. <sighs> Fucking idiots. Yeah, and and <clears throat> such is just a. I the I was reading this article and I was like, man, our Optimus Prime woman beater <clears throat> XXX is a joke. Little... Pretty not funny now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm it's reading not this funny fucking now. article. I'm yeah. like, damn. Yeah, this dude is legitimately a very very bad person. Yeah, I mean, but you could like, I mean, you could just tell from like, you know, and, and what's and a th other thing people were pointing out is like how real his lyrics were and how. You know, saying shit like, oh, I'll kill myself if you leave me and stuff like that. It's like, wow, bro. Like, you can't say he wasn't holding some type of, like, emotional, yeah, like, grip over this chick. And it's just like, fuck. Yeah. What do you do? Like, you're her age? Because I, I know people are going to run and, like, blame her and be like, why'd she get back with him and this and that. And it's like, some people do that. Yeah, no, I know. Like, Someone like, threatens to kill themselves because you're, there's yeah. a big thing of people, abusers being like, don't abandon me. Yeah. Yep. And so all of a sudden now the pe person who's being abused feels guilty. Mm -hmm. They put that on their conscience. Yeah. Because what they'll do is like, you know, a, an abusive person will will hurt you. They trigger you to get angry. Then they say, see how you're acting? This is why the way I'm acting. And then they they just like rinse, repeat. And also it's like her situation was tough. Her mom just kicked her out at like 16. And it's like there's no one you can stay with. Yeah. You know, if, if it's like, what do you do? Sleep on the street or click up with your fucking abusive boyfriend. Yeah. Fucked up, man. It's, it's dirty. Oh, read the article. You pulled it out. Where yeah, is it yeah, from? Yeah, yeah, So it's by, um, let's see, it's by Tarpley Hit, the real story of South Florida rapper XXX fucking Telemundo. I'm I'm going to shout out uh, <laughs> Young Lame on that one. You, you call him XXX Telemundo, and I'm <laughs> like, that's the funniest shit. I don't know why I've never thought of it. <laughs> so fucking funny. That's funny. I will not respect this fool's name. What, what's it on? Uh, oh, the Miami, 
the Miami New Times. There you go. Yeah. Boom. Shit's money. So yeah, go check that out. Yep. Um, merch coming in a couple weeks. Merch coming in a couple weeks. And yeah, we'll we're, see you. We're back at it. Um, uh, follow us on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I mean, we're going to be gaming. Yeah, that's so, true. Someone's I just got to get better, man. It's like legitimately not fun when I'm streaming and I'm not good because I'm, I get a little l- bit. What? You got to warm up a little bit. I know. I think if we just got to go, we just got to, I don't know, man. Like I, I get like weirdly nervous yeah. and then I'm like, I ended up just doing this, <laughs> just the stupidest mistakes ever. Like I, sh- I fucking was shooting you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're like fighting another squad and there's two guys in front of me that I should be shooting and I I get, you know, flustered. I turn around and start shooting Noel. And then I'm like, oh, wait, I'm shooting Noel. Meanwhile, the whole stream's like, dude, you fucking idiot. I'm just imagining you in real war. Like, oh, oh. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. No, dude. My bad, dude. You just shot the heavy gunner. Yeah. Oh, I freaked out. I'm sorry. I just got to, I know, I might go home and play a couple games right now. Oh, they got me before I can make my first post. By the way, our um our uh, military outfit were the People's Coalition of the Penis Palladium. Okay, I like that. PCP. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, Sam. All right, credit Sam. Cool. Let's go play PCP. All right. Uh, thank you guys for listening. New video tomorrow. Keep an eye out. I'm gonna finish it's it today. 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 Keep it new video today. Yeah. So, well, actually, if you're listening to this on iTunes, then. It's, it's last week. Last week. Yeah. But there probably is already a new one today yeah. too. So I'm dropping a I'm dropping a little thank thing tomorrow too. So Oh wow. Yeah. You're back to making videos, huh? Back, yeah, You're yeah. finally I'm back finally to making, making videos after three weeks. Yeah, I came out of my slump. No, nice. it's four. Everyone says it's three. It's four. Four weeks? Four. A whole month you didn't make whole a f- one fucking video. Yeah. Damn. I was afraid. I'm like, That's I'm gonna crazy. upload this and it's gonna get like nine views and one it's person. It's really hard to come back when you take time mm-hmm. off. Mm-hmm. It's weird, but no, Sucks. it was a good video. You're the editing and the fucking the part with the boobs. When you're looking at the, oh, the boobs oh, yeah, at you, yeah. I was lolling, <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, dope, dope. That was great. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Peace out, people. Peace, guys. Gang shit.